Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Stellaris with the Democratic Current Singularity, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all help the channel grow, and they help get it out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we continued our war for those that, you know, pitched it against us, and we're slowly trying to work up our achieving war goals, where we are getting much closer. Um, but we also... <laughs> I say stumbled across. We found the Dark Fortress. Uh, so we're working our way through there. So we've done the first bit. Now let's have a look. The away team find their way back, blocked by a massive bulkhead. The team report that there is a recessed alcove to their right housing a pedestal on a contraption wrought of the same black metal as the fortress itself. They believe the device is the key to opening the bulkhead. The leader of the explorers described it as three upright poles spaced equidistant across the top of the pedestal with three rings, metal Ori, of varying sizes placed around the leftmost pole, the smallest at the top and the largest at the bottom. So this is um, a famous puzzle. Um, oh, right, okay. No. No. Uh, you need to rearrange them. Uh, after the course of action was announced, a moment of silence followed, and the vague scraping noises of the Striking team attempted to carry out plan. Station. A splashing sound so loud that at first you think the team was being swatted like small insects was followed by cheers from the team as they reported the passage had opened. The bulkhead appears to have rapidly transformed into an unpleasant smelling liquid, reminiscent of purple quicksilver. Combined with a relatively mundane puzzle mechanism, you have a feeling the team have been vic victims to an elaborate plank prank set up millennia ago. Okay. There we go. Right. In the meantime, we continue Station to push through here. Damage. Uh, we nearly got all of this. Oh, here we go. The pivot. The team reports that they have reached what appears to be the geometric center of the fortress. Even if the internal geometry leaves some doubt as the concept of a center is even relevant here. What is indisputably relevant is how the fortress is powered, which makes the team th team's new discovering all the more interesting. Dark matter is funneled around the fortress and then back to the core, like a cardiovascular system. Although the flow has stopped, the team has found signs that it is starting again. We can take all the time we want to study it, but it needs to be stopped now. Okay. Uh, home system research, supply dark matter, use force. Black hole research. Okay. So what do we do? Is that in the situation log we decide what we're doing there? So I don't want to do the demolitions. You, no, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to supply that. Do I want to do home, home system research? Get that done. Striking hostile station. Right, how have you guys managed to sneak back here? Get after that fleet. Spaceport's sustaining damage. Because we need to deal with that. Uh, right. You can have an expertise in physics. Spaceport offline. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. And then they're going after the armies. Ah, but we finally managed to come back through and sweep in for a victory. Lovely. Right. Uh, fortress, our star witness. Special Scouring the local concluded. star for clues as to how the fortress is built, we have discovered a surprising secret. In the fine mist of nanotechnological cameras that have been found in close proximity to the star, acting as the eyes of the fortress and explaining the efficiency of its defences. Accessing these with data from the fortress, we can view the history of the system all the way back to its construction. However, we're running out of time. Which part of the construction should we review? Um. Oh, if we're looking to try and stop the dark matter, I'd say the end, because the core would be f turned on towards the end. <laughs> Reviewing the final stages of construction, we discovered too late that, that they must have been 
hang on, that they must have required the fortress to already be powered. The core must have been functioning at the point we started viewing. The team are reporting the fortress is repairing. Uh, okay. Science ship sustaining damage. That means we need to send this back in, don't we? Okay. Uh, okay. Which means we need to get a new science ship, and I think we have to start the process again. Right. Shipyard. Science ship. Get that built. And then we'll get a new scientist and we'll try again. Striking hostile station. Right. Research concluded. Ship done. Uh, let's pick a random scientist. You will do. Uh, and just in case you ever wind up on the council, you can have Spark a Genius. Right, move here. Get a wiggle on. Right, have you done your... You have. So we'll get the hyper relay there. Right, give the guy a head. Let's try it again. Right. Uh, and then we will unshielded life signs we'll detected this way. in deep space. Nope, go that way. How are we doing? Ninety-one. We're getting there. We are absolutely getting there, and then we'll have a second crack at the fortress. Okay, so engineering tech. I mean, we can't have that many left to get, can we? Now, we've not done it in a little while, so let's come back here. I'm right, we'll going with a lower estimate. Special yeah, project we managed completed. that last time. Where is the synaptic lathe? There we go. Right, resettle. Where are our chip factories? There we go. And then we can move over. How are there no chips? How are there no chips on the chip factory? I don't like that. There's only one there. Hmm. No, don't like that. Have we got any super chips elsewhere then? No. Huh. Well, oh, we've got ten there. Managed to sneak off. The one there. Hmm, cheeky. Make it <laughs> made it onto that ecumenopolis. Uh, what about this one? Got one there. Some there. One there. One there, okay. I mean, that should help a little bit. Right, okay, we know that one. You need to rearrange them on the poles. We can laugh about it. Okay. Then hopefully, next time, we'll, here we go, the pivot. We'll find a way. Another so. Day. Another scientific breakthrough. Oh, uh, no, we're not going to supply the dark matter. That's the wrong one. No, uh, no, I don't want to disband. I just want to cancel your order. No, we need to do home system research. Cancel. There we go. Right. Science ship. Grab the science ship. Come here. Situation log. Yeah. Right. Can you move here? 
Uh, why are we not able to do this? Home system research, that's what we want to do. Alright. Continue to push this around. And we'll keep pushing into these guys now. Council agenda available. Right. Excellent. Nice and quick. Up to this one. Cool. Ethics shift a whoop de doo. Right, let's get swarm missiles, because we might want missiles at some point. Striking hostile station. Right. Across all the ships. Right, and then let's go with middle. Special. Aha, there we go. The middle section of the footage, although not showing the construction of the fortress, reveals the shipping of materials to the fortress, which scientists conclude must have been used for the core. This must have been at a critical time at which the structure was needed to power the to power for the construction to continue. With knowledge of materials, the team inside the fortress has managed to stop it repowering, and we can now reap the fruits of our success. So we get the enigmatic encoder, which I'm pretty sure we already had. And we get a Leviathan Parade opportunity. Okay. Like, if I go Fleet Manager, I'm sure... Sure we already had the... Yeah, we already had it. <laughs> oh, well. Right. Let's bounce around, and we'll just continue to push through. Research concluded. We'll be up to 87. We're nearly there. Right, that's our swarm of missiles Striking done. Let's get well missiles. Planetary incursion initiative successful. You are our very, very happy vassal. Why are you disloyal? Right, okay. Let's push in here. Move with them. Initializing hostile engagement protocols. There we go. Those fleets just did not have a hope in hell. Even though they managed to be waiting for us right on top of us. Right, there we go. Commencing planetary incursion oh. initiative. That's going to sort out those planetary incursions, which is what we want. Awesome. Planetary incursion initiative successful. Uh, okay. So we've got to lead a retire. Mm, that's unfortunate. Right, that means we've got Space Free Commander. You're going to be a frontline one. Right, I'm here. Mm, none of them are particularly inspiring. Don't want a new thing. Don't need a cancel bonus. Probably that one then, but it's still not a not something that excites me. Uh, and then yeah, prudence gives you weapons range. Commencing planetary incursion initiative. All right, there we go. Cool. Uh, let's have a look. After defeating the Enigmatic Fortress, a section of it was floating in space, so we decided to bring it home to be part of our parade. Several Super Corinths have gone missing inside the depths of the chamber from the fortress ever since it arrived there. We've had team members exploring it daily, yet something inside the shift <laughs> structure shifted. Doors folded in on themselves, leaving only sheer walls for our agents to rail against. We still can't... Oh, we can still communicate with the trap supercorrents, but we have no clear idea of how to get them out without damaging the structure. Right, so we can either get everyone out and reduce the unity, lose a population, or... This will increase the unity supply. We'll produce the surprise. So, hang on. We'll produce this passing the Enigmatic Fortress opportunity situation. Uh, we'll leave no one behind. 
I mean, for a one-off shot of Unity, I'm not too worried Space about it. Sustaining damage. Right, have we now got the Unity to try and launch an additional one of these? So we've got Scientific Revolution, which is great. Let's have architectural Planetary renaissance. Planetary incursion initiative successful. Research Plus concluded. 14. So we've got them both going. Right, okay. And then... Yeah, I've already let you guys get on with it, haven't I? Right. So the next system. Yep. So you're already set there. That's fine. Striking hostile station. Into the next one. Just keep pushing forwards. Research concluded. Uh, unoccupied. Hang on. Which singularity? Oh, you're planetary telling me I'm trying initiative. to claim for a singularity I don't have. Where is it? Spaceport's sustaining damage. I do hold it. Military station offline. Excellent. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Yep. Uh, so that's come through after finishing the world tour. Okay. Cool. Nice. You guys got to come back here. Spaceport offline. Right. Spaceport uh, sustaining damage. Planetary incursion initiative successful. Oh, seeming to struggle with some of the upgrades. Initializing there, right? hostile have engagement prudence. protocols. Spaceport sustaining damage. Military station offline. Oh, you're making me bounce between stuff now. Unshielded guys, life signs quicker. detected in deep space. There we go. Research concluded. Awesome. Right. Then we need to close this loop. Because I don't want them trying to push in and push us around like that Initializing again. Initializing hostile engagement so we're close protocols. that loop. Right. Unoccupied claims. Unshielded life signs detected in deep space. Uh, no, I'm not interested in that. Striking hostile Unoccupied station. claims, but I've got it. Commencing planetary incursion initiative. I've, I've, it is occupied, isn't it? It's over here. X nine four one singularity. Oh, I haven't taken out the. Gotcha. Right. In which case, spaceport sustaining damage. Striking hostile station. Planetary incursion initiative successful. Right, and then you. Commencing planetary need to incursion get back initiative. Back over here. Oh, planetary wait, incursion another. initiative okay. successful. Right, you guys need to get back over here. So I need you to land there. That might actually push us over to the um, the amount we need. Right, in the meantime, we'll set up her barricade there. Right, okay. Awesome. So, please... All fleets are currently fully reinforced. Well, let's fix that then, shall we? Research. I'm going to have a look at that in a second. I'm just going to keep pushing this up. Uh, right, there we go. Uh, how far did we get? that up. Oh, nice. We can increase these because we can build these ships. Nice. Yeah, we'll uh, increase that then. Right, reinforce all. 
Right, constant rounding. Let's have a look. We've succeeded tremendously in making a precise but widespread edit to reality. We have rounded down the mathematical constant of pi, making calculating it much more manageable. Of course, the resulting changes have thrown off some of our mathematical and scientific models, but it's only temporary. Everything will return to normal as soon. Oh, that's a big drop on research speed. I'll put a big increase on ship build speed just as we're about to throw a load out. Lovely. Okay. Uh, so that's massively slowed our research for a while, which feels weird. Oh, hang on. Enigmatic encoder. That's not the one I thought it was. Okay. Sure. Uh, let's re-roll that and see what we can get. Uh, what have we got? Leader lifespan. Negative traits minus one. Nice. That's good. Commencing planetary incursion initiative. Good. That's what we want. Yeah, because then... Planetary incursion initiative we can successful. We more goals. There we go, and we can pull people home. Lovely. All right, bring you guys back home. War is over. Uh, bring the armies back home as well. Lovely. That's what we want to see, isn't it? Everything's gone tickety boo. Uh, army damage up. Hardiness. Yeah, heavy hitter. We'll just increase the army damage. Okay. Cool. That's going well. You guys are doing stuff there. Why have you not got... That's unfortunate. Where is it? Dimensional replicator, that's what we want. Like, that produces three. Right, we'll replace those with dimensional replicators then. Right, uh, we will let the masses mourn. Okay. Don't even know who that was that went there. Wasn't a council member. Right, yeah, undesirables, sceptic servitude. Took a couple of worlds here, didn't we? Which means you guys, the populations. Yep. That's going to hopefully help because we're just going to move them. Okay. Now, I think we are maxed out on our. Where are we? Discoveries. Oh, let's make use of these. Right, let's get that. Uh, society management. Yeah, so we've got all of our bits here. That's fine. Okay. Alright. Uh, and across the fleets, we will buy all of that. You know, just sell everything else. Pretty sure most of this is coming from our um, vassals. Oh, alloys are so expensive right now. Uh, subject taxes plus 500. I mean, I feel like we'd be... I mean, we're definitely good on consumer goods because that's not subject taxes. 3k, yeah, so we'd be in deep trouble on energy credits. Now, you... Yeah, you were the one I was going to upgrade to a Dyson Sphere. And thank you very much to the comments. It was so it was pointed out to me that because I have Synthetic Dawn and Utopia in, to get to a Dyson Sphere, you have to start with a Dyson Swarm. They, if you have both, it, it doesn't let you skip straight to a Sphere, which I thought it would. Um, but it is what it is. Yeah, you cannot build more than one Dyson Sphere, so it won't, won't let me do that, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, 
Okay. Did we get the second ring world section set up? We did. And you don't know what you're doing. I would like you to be a... Do I want another forge world? What do I want you to be? Yeah, I do. I do feel like forge. Yeah, go forge. There you go. I'll let it automate and get on with that. Yep, you're getting on with it as well. Cool. Right, so... Uh, one of the other things I was looking at was factions. So we are becoming... There's, there's no two ways around it. We are becoming more authoritarian. But it's like, do I try and embrace this faction? Because what do we got? We don't have a local rivalry. It says we have weak diplomacy. Oh. Oh, because we've got cooperative di diplomatic stance. And they're not on the council. Interesting. And yet our... Yeah, we're 80 we've got 80%. Okay. Okay. Our egalitarians are apparently happy with what we're up to. Fine. Uh, right, you are wearing away okay. Robot assembly ceased. Oh no 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 no. We 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 can we can resume that. You can you can build stuff now. Right. Uh decisions. Can we make you an arcology project? Not yet. Because that's saying we need some more alloys. Well, we'll just buy some of that. There you go. Congratulations, you're in arcology world now. Crisis level 5. It cannot be, and yet it is. No matter what we try, our edits to reality remain stubbornly temporary. The universe is simply too old for the changes to take hold. But in the midst of the frustration, there may be at times oh, there may be at times be opportunity. And a new experiment has yielded unexpected results. What we have long known about other dimensions, the means to travel there has reliably eluded us. But not anymore. Younger universes dwell within the infinite gravity of a singularity. These have proven to be far more flexible. We have the technology to dispatch probes into a black hole and once across the event horizon they will begin to apply pressure bending these useful planes to our will. Where space folds into eternity lies the door to another universe that holds another younger universe too. Deep down in the abyss of the multiverse we will find a malleable reality to shape into something extraordinary. Nice. It must bend for we will not break. Cool. Didn't realise we'd started Crisis Level 5. Oh, no, hang on. That's going to be under um, under this, isn't it? Where we've just got enough advanced logic for it. So what do we get now? Nano swarms. Fine. We get new ones and we can build the Horizon Needle. So that's when we can start basically moving. Another day, another scientific break. Cool. Okay. Oh, here we go. So nanite flax, nanite auto cannons, yeah. Uh, let's get the. Uh, nanite flak battery, I suppose. Because then we can upgrade all of our fleets. Research concluded. Enigmatic encoder, good. Get the horizon needle, that's up next. Because then we can work towards finishing the game. And we're managing it even before the um, the endgame crisis has even started considering turning up, which is surprising me. Does mean now, though, that I'm probably going to start easing off what we are um, settling. In fact, it might be worth trying to consolidate some of these individual or these places. So if we resettle all of you guys onto the 
Uh, there we go. Science one there. So yeah, if we just start moving all of you guys across. Yeah, I know you're unemployed, but you'll figure that out when you get there. Because then we can consolidate all of that. Yep, I want to abandon that world. Yeah, so you guys are now going to start building everything to put that in place. Uh, what have we got here? We've got quite a few people here. Uh, right. Council agenda uh, ready. Yeah, that's fine. You can stay where you are. Yeah, low stability. That's fine, but that's because we've got a huge amount of people that we've just dumped on that world. They weren't really ready for it. Because they haven't got the jobs or anything else set up for them. But that's... That's okay. We'll get that straightened out. Unshielded life signs detected in deep space. Because we've got the minerals for them to get on with it. Uh, right, okay. So, let's pick another small world. So, let's resettle you guys onto this one. Yep, abandon. And resettle you guys onto there. Yep, abandon. Yeah, because the fewer worlds we're going to have, the better for us. Because we won't need to then try and get round to everyone. Right, resettle these 11 onto that part. Yep. So that's going to be a fun thing to start trying to do. Uh, right, okay. I think when we do start pulling people off, I think we start with the science worlds. Yeah, because look, these, these guys need stuff coming through, because they've Council not got anywhere for available. people to live. They're still working on getting that planetary capital in place. But, I do think this is what we're going to start doing. I think we're going to start trying to consolidate some people onto these ring worlds. Um, because then that's hopefully going to make the end game easier when we get to the Space Needle. So, I think we've got the end rapidly approaching for this, which is surprising me. Um, so I'm going to wrap up now and say, as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions. They will help the channel grow. They help get it out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. Thank you very much to my patrons and YouTube channel members. Your support is very, very much appreciated. And please don't forget that as a supporter, you do gain access to the save files for any of the open world games I'm currently playing. But other than that, thank you all very much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day, and I will catch you all next time.